friends, I'm Jess, and welcome to the Hex Library, where I post reading, writing, book, and planner-related content a couple of times a week. Today is going to be a readathon announcement. If you've been here the past few years, you may know that I had a TBR game that I was playing on my channel called the TBR Takedown. Uh, it was one of my favorite things to do. We're not doing the TBR Takedown anymore. Now we're playing the Balancing the Books Bingo, which has also been very fun because we're using Leanne from Literary Diversions Bingo Board from Hell. But I had originally planned a readathon around the TBR Takedown and have never brought it to fruition. And I thought, you know, now's the time because it doesn't exist anymore i can still have like a month-long enjoyment of the tbr takedown in the month of april starting from april 1st to however many days there are in april 30 days has september april june and november so for the 30 days of april uh, we'll be doing the tbr takedown a thon it looks a little like something like this here's the thing I don't like rules, and I don't like prompts, and I want to read what I want to read when I want to read it. This is why I say after like the big readathons, I cannot a thon anymore. I'm out of a thons. I have no a thons to give. And so <laughs> my goal for the readathon was to make it as user friendly as possible. The goal, the rule, the whatever you want to call it of this of this readathon is simply read a book from your TBR. That is the one and only rule. We will get to some more rules if you want to play it like hard level, but that is the one and only rule to participate is read a book from your TBR. This can be a physical TBR, a digital TBR, a TBR from your library, a TBR that your friends gave you, doesn't matter, a book from your TBR. You read one book from your TBR and you participate it. Okay? Okay. Um, what I have done though, however, over here you will see, I did indeed make a bingo board for this readathon. I made a filled in version and a blank version. So if you want to fill in the blank version to work specifically for the books that you have on your shelves, you can do that. Uh, if you would like, you can use the bingo board that I created. It is very simple. Um, we're going to read through these one physical TBR book. It doesn't have to be like your physical that you can hold TBR, but again, ebook, audiobook, library, TBR, whatever your TBR is. One TBR book. A book with purple on the cover. Doesn't matter how much or how little. Purple on the cover. Single POV. A book with single POV. A digital TBR book. So this one specifically is a digital TBR book, but that can be an audiobook or an ebook. A book under 500 pages. Final book in a series. Is it a duology? Book two? That's the final book in a series. Host favorite from any readathon. So one thing that I know is that I plan TBRs around other readathons, and I never get to all of those TBRs that I have, every book on that TBR that I have. So if you have a host favorite that you wanted to get to during a readathon that's happened anytime in the last 10 years, and you didn't get to it, and you still have it, and it's on your TBR, now's the time. Host favorite from any readathon. Blue on the cover, four physical TBR books. So if you read four books, physical, digital, audio, doesn't matter. I'm gonna change those for you guys. It's just gonna be four TBR books because that's confusing. Yeah, I'm gonna change that. So the new ones will have, we'll just say four TBR books. Okay, an animal on the cover, a male main character, two TBR books. Have you read two books from your TBR? There you go, any book any book. Red on the cover. Prompt from any readathon. So much like a host favorite from any readathon, a prompt from any readathon that has happened at any point at any time. If there was a book that you had that you were going to read for a specific readathon prompt and you didn't get to it, now's your chance. Green on the cover. More than one point of view. Can be two, can be three, can be 27. I don't care. More than one. A female main character. Part of a series. Could be book one, could be book two, could be book three, could be 27, doesn't matter, part of a series. Three TBR books. A book over 500 pages. Any group or buddy read you missed. Much like the any readathon prompts, any group read or buddy read that you intended to read and you didn't make it to, now's the time. Five physical TBR books. 
a 2023 release and a book with yellow on the cover. That's the bingo board. And you can hit as many or as few bingos in that as you would like. Or you can read no bingo. This is, this is the hard mode. Easy mode is read one book from your TBR. But I know some people need direction, and so I gave direction, okay? Now, your next question may be, cool, but why? All right, I got you. Why is because I made these super awesome digital badges that you can win for completing things. If you read more than 500 pages during the month, you would get the novice badge. If you read more than 2,000, then you would get the apprentice badge. More than 4,000 is adventurer. More than 6,000 is legend. And more than 8,000 is librarian. But I also made badges for bingos. If you get one bingo, you get a beginner. Three bingos, casual. Six bingos, moderate. Eight bingos, advanced. 10 bingos, exalted. I was running out of words, okay? And if you black out the whole board, master. These cool little digital batches for doing things you were gonna do anyway, you know? So here's the spiel. I'm gonna read you the actual rules thing that I have, the actual rules. There are no rules, okay? Maybe a few, one. This readathon can be done with or without the bingo board. The original purpose was to have a readathon with no prompts so we can read what we own, but some people need a guide. You can cover as many bingo squares as you want with a single book. If you read a book that can cover 12 of those bingo squares, you go right ahead. If you've got a book that's got every color on the cover that's on there, you can mark all of those cover bingo squares off. You do you. If you want to make it specific one book per bingo, you can do that, but you don't have to. Badges are given out based off of either pages or how many bingos you get, or you can have one for each if you're keeping track of both. And there are two ways that you can kind of keep up with this. So I will be linking down below a link for the um, form that you can fill out, which will not be active yet, but the link will be there so that you can come back at the end of the month later and it'll be there um, for whatever badge you want. Um, and there will also be a link below for the accoutrement. Um, so like the TBR, the wrap up, the bingo board, all of that, there will be a Google Drive link down below for that as well. Um, if you are interested, you do not have to, but if you are interested, you can also join my new Discord server. Everybody and their brother has a Discord server now, so you probably don't want to, but if you want to, it's there. I went ahead and made one, not because I feel like we need it for this readathon, but because I have this readathon and I also have the Summer Scare readathon, I figured it would be good to have a place where I can keep all of those things together. Um, I'm calling it the Hexed Annex, mostly because my library, like my library where I live, has an annex building behind it where all of like the things that don't fit in the library go. And because this is the Hexed Library, it felt like it made sense to have a Hexed Annex um, for all of the things that don't fit here on the channel. So that's kind of what that is. If you would like to join that server, you are welcome to. Um, there will be information about this readathon there. So if you wanna join us for this readathon and just communicate in there, you can. Um, there will be links for all of the things that we just talked about. I thought that with a form, it would be cool because then I would actually have like numbers of how many um, like pages people have read or how many bingos people have gotten. It was really the only reason why I'm like gatekeeping badges. I thought it would be cool to keep track of that. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much it at this point. Um, TBR takedown a thon the entire month of April. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. If you wanna join the Discord server, it's down below. If you don't and you just wanna know, like you have access to like the templates and things, those are down there as well. That's That's been me. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a stack of books emoji down below. And that is all I have for today. So until the next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye.